Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before watching this video, please be seated with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. In the given circuit, the emitter A1 and A2 are ideal and the emitter A3 has a resistance of 1.9 into 10 raised to power minus 3 ohm if sum of readings of all three meters is given by 2n by 27 ampere, the value of n will be. Now first of all, we have to understand what the question says. Here we have given that three batteries, 8 volt, 10 volt and 20 volt. And its uh, resistance is 3 ohm, 5 ohm and 15 ohm. Here three emitters connected in this circuit. Let us give the name A, B and C. Okay. Here the vertex of this triangle A, B, C. For convenient to solve and redraw the diagram. Here are very important things that here due to this battery current generated. Let us give the name is I1. Here this current here in this circuit let us consider AO the current is generated that is I and uh, due to this battery current is generated that is I2. Here very important things because here no any battery is connected in this circuit. So therefore there is no any new current will be generated after although we can take here I3 because the sum of all these currents we can take here but there is no any new current will be generated in this circuit. So therefore we can draw like this diagram. Okay, let us uh, consider this is the direction of this current and going through this uh, B to A and here is current is I and uh, A to C that is current is I2. Okay, so now using KCL Kirchhoff's closed loop and uh, using Kirchhoff junction law, you can see that here the I1 current is incoming and outgoing current is I and I2. Okay, so here I can be written as I1 minus I2, that is uh, I. This clear now? And now using Kirchhoff's closed circuital law, that is B A O B. Here you can see that current is I1 and resistance is 3 that is 3 I1. Now we have to be uh, moving to B to A. There is no any current, no any resistance and now moving to again A to O. You can see that 5 is a uh, resistance and uh, here current is I then 5 I equal to here the battery is negative to positive means positive that is 10 and here is also 8 then it can be written as 3 i1 plus 5 i equal to 18. Now substituting the value of i what is the value of i i1 minus i2 i1 minus i2 equal to 18 3 i1 plus 5 i1 minus 5 i2 equal to 18 then 5 and 3 8 i1 minus 5 i2 equal to 18 it is first equation now for the second loop here we have taken the second loop is a c o a a c o a okay now you can see that here is current is i2 and uh, here the resistance is 15 ohm so 15 I2, then we move O to A, opposite direction of I. So therefore, here we have to take a minus 5 I. And then move to A to C, there is no resistance. So therefore, it's multiple here 0 and equal to. Here the batteries, two batteries connected, negative to positive means positive 20 volt. Here positive to negative that is should be taken negative 
15 i 2 minus 5 i equal to 10. Then substitute the value of i. What is the value of i? i1 minus i2. i1 minus i2 equal to 10. Then 15 i2 minus 5 i1 minus minus plus 5 i2 equal to 10. Then rearranging then become the equation minus 5 i1 15 and 5 that is 20 i2 equal to 10 is second equation. Now solving first and second equation by multiplying 4 first equation 8 4 is 32 i1 4 5 is 20 i2 18 4 is 72 minus 5 i1 plus 20 i2 equal to 10. Then addition of two equations we get 27 i1 equal to here 82 then i1 equal to 82 by 27. Here we get i1. And now substituting the value in any equation, it is uh, easy to put here in second equation. Now later I will give why we have to put in second equation because uh, multiply by 5 in any number that is very easy. Okay, become half and applying the 0. That rule very easy because 82 that is 41 it is half and applying the 0. So it is very convenient and very uh, easy. Uh, 82 by 27 plus 20 i2 equal to 10, then 4, 10 upon 27 plus 20 i2 equal to 10, 20 i2, 10 and transposing these terms then become positive 410, 27. Then 20 i2 taking the LCM to 70 plus 410 upon 27. Then 20 I2, how much? 7 and 1, that is uh, 8, 4 and 2, 60, 680, 27. Then I2 is equal to 680, 27. Then 20, 0, 0 cancel, that is 34 upon 27. That is I2. Okay. So here we get I1 and I2. Now third, value. Later we have already discussed about that. There is no any current generated in this uh, path BC. But although due to this here the current generator there is two sources that is 8 volt battery and here 20 volt battery. And due to this there is suppose I3 current will flow due to there are both the currents. Okay. So now again apply the Kirchhoff's closed circuit law. Here let us consider that current is I3. And the resistance is given in the question that is 1.9 into 10 raised to power minus 3 ohm. Okay, let us consider this is the path C to B. Here the loop taken B O C B. Okay, this is the loop. And this is the path. Here, this is the direction. And against to this, because we know that very well minus 2 plus current should be flow here. And so therefore against to the current, so therefore minus sign should be taken. And uh, here the current is I1 and the resistance is 3 ohm, 3 I1. And again here the current is I2 produces in this circuit CO and we have to go in the opposite direction. So therefore again here we have to take a minus sign and uh, what is the resistance that is 15 ohm and I2 and uh, here the total potential we can take here. What is the potential that is, uh, you can see that here the potential is 8 volt and here is the uh, 20 volt. So minus 8 and here minus 20. Okay. Why we have taken minus 8 and minus 20? Because plus to minus. We have to go in. In a closed circuit path, that minus 2 plus going should be taken minus uh, potential. Okay, so here I3 into 1.9 into 10 raised to power minus 3. Substitute the value of I1. What is the value of I1? Here 82 by 27. And what is the value of I2? That is 34 by 27. It is minus 28. Then I3 into 1.9 into 10 to the power minus 3. 3 to the 6 and 8 is the 24 
upon 27 minus 15 4 is a 60 carry 6 15 3 is a 45 that is a 510 okay so upon 27 equal to minus 28 then i3 into 1.9 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 minus should be taken common then 27 510 and 246 how much 4 in 1 5 4 and 2, 7, 56, 7, 56, equal to minus 28. Then you can see that I3 into 1.9 into 10 is to power minus 3, minus, it will be cancelled out, 17 to the 54, And this is 8 times. So, therefore, 28 times is cancel out. Minus 28 equal to 28. Then I3 into 1.9 into 10 raised to minus 3, that is 0. So, here I3 equal to 0. So, no any current will be flowing it. And we have to given that I1 plus I2 plus I3 equal to, what is the value is given that is, value is given that, 2n by 27, 2n by 27, then we have given that uh, 82 by 27 plus 34 by 27, that is 0, now 27, 4 into 6, 8 and 3, 11, equal to 20n by 27, that is uh, 58, so here n equal to 58. Okay, so it is the answer and I hope so you understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Although your success is 100% your hard work, if my videos can help you, then I will consider myself lucky. Then again remind you, please like, share and subscribe my channel. That can reach more and more students. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.